welcome back to Draft Day Sports College Basketball 2020 with the New Hampshire Wildcats. Um, this is supposed to be episode 11, um, or no, episode, what, 8, I think? Um, but it's actually episode 7 because uh, when I did my last episode, I forgot to change my settings in OBS. So all I had was 45 minutes of uh, my camera showing me play the game, but not actually the game. Uh, which sucks because it was a, a pretty interesting off-season slash first game of the year. So I'll do my best here to recap uh, what happened during last off-season and what's happened during the season this year. So uh, if you remember, at the end of the last episode, we had two scholarship slots available. And um, we're getting down to the wire. So I made sort of last-ditch... Um, uh, last ditch uh, uh, scholarship offers to uh, this Rasan Howard, a 6'8", um, 6'8 forward out of Little Rock, Arkansas, and then Joan Lazaro out of Spain. And they both uh, signed letter of intents with us almost immediately. So we got really lucky there. Lazaro, uh, we actually uh, redshirted this season. You can see he's got three and a half star potential, but only one star current. And Howard is really good. Two star current, four and a half star potential. Um, so we signed both of them. The, the problem now is that Howard and Petaway hate each other. So if you look at Howard's player profile, he is miserable. So it wouldn't surprise me to see him transfer after this season. Um, thankfully, Petaway is also really good. Four star current, four and a half star potential. So, you know, it'll suck to lose a freshman like that but uh um we'll just sort of see how it goes uh and you look at the rest of our roster i mean we're, we're pretty stacked uh barkley in his senior year uh, he actually missed a lot of time this season with injury he only played 17 games this this was the first year that we were really affected by injuries and and they hit us hard so barkley only played 17 games averaged a career low 10 points two rebound or two assists and two rebounds a game. So his senior year was by far his um, his worst season, which is a shame. Um, he will graduate as our all-time leading scorer uh, until Scotty Rosen passes him. Scotty Rosen is also at a down season, uh, down from last year, down to 14 points, two assists and four rebounds per game. I guess let's let's look at the team overall um, before we go into individuals. So um, the other thing that was a shame was that our first game of the year was uh, 2K Sports Classic against number. Uh, at the time, they were number two Kentucky. You remember last year we played Kansas in this game, and we lost by three. We were actually beating Kentucky in this game by six points with about two and a half minutes left, uh, and we couldn't hold on. And Kentucky ended up uh, beating us in this one. Uh, but this, I actually played this game, and we missed a three pointer at the buzzer that would have tied it. So. Uh, it's unfortunate that you guys don't get to see it, uh, but that's what happened. So we started our season. You can see uh, two and four. This was really difficult. Then we won three in a row, uh, and then it was a lot of win-loss, 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 win-loss. We had a nice stretch, uh, nice string, or a nice, you know, six. We were six and two in our last eight. We'll just put it that way. Six and two in our last eight, so a good run down the stretch. Uh, we ended up finishing 16 and 11 on the season, 10 and 6 in the conference, which puts us in fourth. So, in theory, we should um, we should uh, get promoted to, I guess, conference P if if everything goes as it should. Uh, Radford won the conference at 13 and 3. St. Peter's and Moorhead State were 11 and 5. Then we were tied with Idaho State at 10 and 6. Um, so yeah, so that's how the season went. Um, again, disappointing that the last episode is is nowhere to be found. Uh, current recruiting class, uh, we've got contract or contracts. We've got scholarship <laughs> offers out to these three players: Hay uh, Hayward O'Neill, Greg Henderson, and John Cook. Uh, uh, center, shooting guard, and a point guard, O'Neal. We're seventh on his list. Uh, good shooter, uh, good, uh, great passer, uh, which we're going to need once um, Barkley is gone. So get another ball handler in there right now. We're number seven on his list. Uh, Greg Henderson, a 6'4 shooting guard. Uh, we're sixth on his list. Again, good shooter, um, very good defense. Um, so, yeah, not a very good sh uh, free throw shooter, but overall a good shooter. 
and we are sixth on his. And then John Cook, a C, uh, center, number five on his list. Um, pretty good inside, good rebounder, average defensively. Uh, but again, overall, a pretty good um, all-around player. So those are the three scholarship offers that we have out. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, let's look at the stats. Hang on just a sec. All right, sorry about that. Uh, if you look at our overall stats, we, was, we were a much lower scoring team this year than we were previously. Uh, you'll see that in the uh, when we go to play our, our next game. Uh, Scotty Rosen averaged uh, 14 a game, and he was our leading scorer. Um, uh, compared to last season, it was a very down year, uh, down by about four points a game. Um, his shooting was way down. You can see Chef 45% last year, 42% this year, 35% from behind the arc last year, only 29%, or I guess 30 technically, this season. So not a good year for Rosen. Ike Carter uh, came in and was our, our essentially our starting point guard, and he was pretty good, 9 points, 5 assists. Uh, Joe Petaway and Rasan Howard split the starting duties at center. Uh, uh, Petaway was probably the better of the two overall. Eight points, four rebounds, one assist, one steal, one block per game. Uh, Lavin, as a senior, got some starts. And you see, this was the first year that we really had to kind of change things up in the starting lineup. Previous seasons, we ran with the same five essentially all year long, and that didn't happen here. So, um, yeah, so these are our team stats. We've got some good young players. A couple players are going to be leaving this year, Barkley and Lavin specifically. Uh, this is their senior year, so uh, but we have some good players coming in. Uh, so we are at conference tournament time, and we get a first round bye. So we'll go ahead and sim through that. And I'm going to do what I did before, which was um, sim ahead to... Um, take my chances, keep my fingers crossed, if you will, and sim ahead to either the um, semifinals or the finals, depending on how frisky I'm feeling. So uh, we play Monmouth. We view their scouting report real quick. You can see we're scoring 69 points a game this year. We're down. That's down from, I think we're at about 76 a year ago. Um, we do have a decided advantage, at least here. So uh, we'll see how that works. But we have a tendency, and I noticed this a lot this year, we have a tendency to play to the level of our competition. Uh, we beat Radford, but then also lost to a one-win team uh, on the year. We, they were 1-13 when we played them, and they beat us. So uh, you never know which team is going to show up. So let's see what happens here in uh, the first round of the playoffs, or a conference tournament, rather. And we lost. So just as I said, uh, we play to the level of our competition. So this ended up being a challenging season to say the least uh and there is another uh, another post-game incident my guess is that it's between Petaway and Howard oh no Alvin Pyluzic uh, was mouthing off about Scotty Rosen so uh this was happening all year long uh Pyluzic and Rasan Howard uh were um causing issues so let's look at the box score we lost 73 to 67 so that's not good um Llewellyn Barkley only scored three points in his final game. Scotty Rosen was 7 of 21 shooting. Uh, not good. So I'm hoping that this is a positional thing and Rosen is just, he struggled because he was playing out of position this year. Um, we're going to move him back to shooting guard next season and we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, this wasn't a good year for us. So we'll go ahead and, and sim ahead to the end of the conference tournament, um, and we'll, we'll take a look at the NCAA tournament. So I'll be right back. All right. <clears throat> All right, it is time for the selection show. So turn this down a little bit, and let's get to that. All right, 
let's watch the show. I have some coffee. And let's get to it. All right, so George Mason, losing record against Mercer, Monmouth, Seattle, Marquette, Northern Kentucky, and Virginia Tech, California are the playing games. Uh, Villanova gets the number one overall seed, George Mason or Mercer, Notre Dame, BU, Kentucky, Nebraska, Purdue, Stanford, Syracuse, Murray State in the 512, Oklahoma, Tulsa, Cincinnati, Wake Forest, Northwestern, Georgetown, make up Raleigh, Detroit, Kansas against Florida International, Louisville against Tennessee Martin, West Virginia, Princeton, Washington, East Tennessee State, Auburn versus the winner of Marquette, Northern Kentucky, St. Mary against the U, uh, Colorado State, Texas Tech, New Mexico, Oregon, over in New Orleans, Arizona, the number one seed will take on Wofford, or Wofford, Duke against Tennessee Tech, Florida against Chicago State, the Cougars. Make it in as a 14 seed. I'm from Chicago, so forgive me. Memphis against Wisconsin. Southern Cal versus the winner of Virginia Tech, California. Also, get have a Southern California, a USC versus UCal matchup in that five in that uh, in that 512 there. Arizona State, Wichita State, Brigham Young, Missouri. Pitt against Temple. And over in Seattle, Maryland will take on Monmouth or Seattle. So Seattle could be getting a home game. In the second round of the NCAA tournament, Ohio State against UMass Lowell, the Riverhawks. Connecticut against Utah Valley, Gonzaga VMI, Houston, Kansas State, St. Joe's against Boise State, Bradley against North Carolina, the seven seed Tar Heels, Iowa against Baylor. So that is your uh, field of 64. And I don't suspect we're going to get an invite, but let's see. Oh, we did. We got another. We got an invite to the WOL tournament, where we're going to be taking on San Sam Houston State. Awesome! So we are going to get a postseason game here. You can see Sam Houston State scores more than us, gives up more than us, shoots a better percentage across the board. Uh, so this is going to be a tough one, but we're going to play it and we're going to see how it goes. All right, excellent. I wasn't expecting that. So that's good to know that they feel highly enough about us that we can at least get a postseason bid when we struggle a little bit in our uh, in our own in our own conference. All right, so Sam Houston State against New Hampshire. Let's get this one going, shall we? AI control the Sam Houston State Bearcats. Their backcourt, a very experienced team. Look at that, two seniors and three juniors. Alex Fomby and Tim Washington in the backcourt. John Miles and Tim Long and Terrell Ashburn are the forwards. For us, we go Ike Carter and Scotty Rosen. We have three guard uh, starting lineup, Ike Carter, Scotty Rosen, Llewellyn Barkley. And we're going to start Petaway and Howard. I forgot I had done that. We're going to start Petaway and Howard in this one. And uh, see how it goes. That's about when, when I put these two in the lineup together. That's uh, when we went on that six and two stretch down the down down the stretch. So hopefully uh, uh, that will continue here. So let's go to the tip and see if we can uh, win our very first uh, conference tournament game. We're at home, which is a nice thing. At Lundholm Gymnasium as they miss a three early on. Scotty Rosen misses a three. Again, Rosen really struggled with this three-point shooting this year. Only tw it was just under 30%, I think. And there's the first basket of the game. Ike Carter gives us an early 2-0 lead. Jumper from the top of the key by Barkley is no good. Yeah, I really didn't think we were going to make a, a tournament here. You heard me say that uh, Llewellyn Barkley only scored three points or whatever it was in his final game, so he's going to get another opportunity here. Trouble scoring on both sides as Sam Houston State hits a three, their first basket of the game. Turnover by the Cats. One to two at the line, and we're down four to two. In the paint there, Petaway misses that shot. Sam Houston State goes up by four. Offensively challenged here are the Cats so far as Barkley drills a three to bring us within one. 
And Howard jams it to give us a one-point lead. So a quick 5-0 run puts us back out in front here early on in the first half. And another basket by Bark or Petaway again. Three-pointer by Barkley again puts us up four. Sam Houston State hits a basket. <sighs> Turnover by Sam Houston State. Missed layup, but we get the offensive rebound. Shot is missed by Rosen, but we get the ball back. Rosen misses another shot. Missed by Petaway. Two-point lead for the Wildcats here. Jumper by Piluzic is good, giving us a four-point lead. And Petaway gets that one in the paint where he throws it down with two hands. And we have a six-point lead and the basketball. One out of two at the line. We get the offensive rebound, though. Missed the jumper there. Turnover by Sam Houston. Missed three-pointer by Burks. 17-10, midway through the first, first half. 17-14 is they had, a, I guess they had a three plus one, hit a three-pointer and got fouled. And they come back and get within a point as we turn the ball over a couple of times. Sam Houston State looking to retake the lead. They're not able to. Missed three-pointer from the top of the key. 17-16 to 16 in a very low-scoring first half as neither team is able to get anything going offensively. Rebound for Sam Houston State. They get the put back to go up by a point. We missed the elbow jumper. Sam Houston State's now up by three. They're on a 10 nothing run. There's a jumper by Carter to bring us within a point. Missed three-pointer. Foul line jumper for Carter. Roy is good. Turnover by Sam Houston State. A lot of passing on the outside. Three-pointer by Ike Carter is good, giving him nine on the game. Cats are up four with three minutes left in the first half. Layup by Sam Houston State gets him within a bucket. And Rosen hits the tough shot in traffic. Three-pointer by, by the Bearcats. One out of two at the line for Petaway, and it's a two-point game with a minute and a half left. Two foul shots for Ike Carter, giving him 11. We get the ball back up four. Missed three-pointer by my big man. All five of my players can shoot threes. One out of two at the line for Lavin gives us a five-point lead. Sam Houston State scores. Rosen with a basket there. It's 32-29 as a three-pointer from the top of the key by Carter is no good at the buzzer. So we go into halftime up by three for the Bearcats. Washington led the way. He was perfect from the field. Five of five from the floor, giving him 12 points. Long with four, Ashburn and Fomby each with three miles had a pair. Snotty had a bat, had a three-pointer. Jensen with two. Marshall and Fortin played and didn't score. Frostite Carter led the way, 11 points, two assists. Uh, Llewellyn Barkley had nine points in the first half. Scotty Rosen with four. Petaway with three. Struggled with his shot a bit. Uh, had, did have three assists and two steals. Howard played, didn't score. Piluzic and Roy, Roy each had a basket. Lavin had a free throw. Burks played, but didn't score. We shot 40% from the field, 12 of 30. We were only 3 of eight, three of 11 from behind the arc and 5 of 8 from the line. Sam Houston State shot 57%, 12 of 21, 3 of 8 from behind the arc. They turned the ball over 16 times in the first half. We only turned it over 4, and that is the difference in the game. So if we can do that in the second half, that bodes well for us as we go into half number 2, up 3. Let's get to the second half and see if we can expand that lead three-pointer no but Barkley gets the rebound gets fouled goes to the line hits a couple and there's a quick basket again by Barkley so he gets four quick points here to put us up five missed three-pointer by Rosen turnover again by Sam Houston State missed foul line jumper from Petaway 
five point UNH lead. Foul called. Missed three pointer by Howard. And it's a two point game. Turnover by the Cats. 36-34 in the first round of the WOL tournament. I forgot to change the tournament names. I was able to change all the preseason tournaments, but then forgot to change the postseason tournaments, so we just sort of have to deal with it because I don't think I can change it once it's started. Scotty Rosen hits the elbow jumper. We get the ball right back and turn it right back over. So we're up five. Sam Houston State with 20 turnovers already. Make it 21 as Barkley lays that one in, we get the ball back. Missed shot there. Offensive rebound, no good. Sam Houston State gets the ball back. Misses it. Missed jumper. And Rosen comes away with the offensive rebound and puts that one home. Scotty Rosen with eight points now in this one. We're up by seven. Turnover by UNH. Missed shot. Rosen misses the three. And they hit a shot to get him within four. Chance to get within two, and they're able to with 11.36 left. Chance to tie it or take the lead with a three. They don't. We get the rebound. Another missed shot by, uh, that was Petaway, I believe. There's a three-pointer by Scotty Rosen, giving him 11. We go up five now. Another three-pointer, back-to-back threes. This one by Llewellyn Barkley puts us up eight. Sam Houston misses the shot, gets the rebound, and they're able to score to get him within six. Lavin misses the bunny. And a couple of opportunities for Sam Houston State in the paint, and they miss them both. Turnover by the Cats. It's turnover number six, and we have a four-point lead. Missed three-pointer from the top of the key. 25 turnovers now for Sam Houston State. And eight turnovers for us. Missed three-pointer. We're up four with six and a half left. Make that six as Burks hits that one. Sam Houston State Ashburn scores there, and they get the ball right back, and they're within two. Lavin gets a good look and puts that one home to put us up four. One out of two at the line. And turnover by the Cats. And it's a one-point game now. Lavin hits the three-pointer off the bench. Big shot by the senior. Missed three-pointer. Oh, no, Carter hit that one from behind the, behind the uh, three-point line. We're up five. Another three-pointer by Carter, giving him 17. We're up eight, and we have the ball. Two free throws by Llewellyn. Barkley give us a 10-point lead, and we have the basketball. Two free throws by Petaway puts us up 12. It's a nine-point game as Sam Houston State hits a three. Lavin comes back and hits another three. The senior does not want his season to end. We're up 12 with a minute and a half left. Another three-pointer by Art Carter, and it's a 15-point game, and that should just about do it. 15, down to a 13-point lead with a minute left. Two free throws by Rosen. Lavin misses the jumper at the buzzer, but that's okay. As we have a fantastic second half, we go on to run away from Sam Houston State in the first round of the WOL tournament, 74-59. to So... For Sam Houston State, they were led by Washington, who had 17 points. He turned the ball over 10 times. That's an acrimonious double-double there. Ashburn, 14 points, 14 rebounds. Long, 9.7 rebounds. Fomby with 8. Miles with 2. Off the bench, Snotty had 3. Jensen, Marshall, and Fortson each with a pair. For us, we were led by Ike Carter, 20 points, 4-5 from behind the arc, 4 assists. Llewellyn Barkley, 16 points, 6 rebounds, 6 assists, 4 steals. Fantastic performance from the senior. Scotty Rosen with a decent game, 13 points for us. Petaway had 6, but he was only 1 of 10 from the field. He did have 3 rebounds, 4 assists, 5 steals, and a block. 
And Rasan Howard, four points, five rebounds, two assists, three steals, and a block for him. Lavin with a big game off the bench for us, nine points, two rebounds. Roy Burks and Piluzic each played and had a bucket. We shot 41% from the field, 25 out of 61, 10 of 23 from behind the arc, 14 of 18 from the line. Sam Houston State shot 50% for the game, only 4 of 14 from behind the arc. The difference was turnovers. They turned the ball over 29 times to our 12. And that's what did it for us. So that's our first ever uh, postseason tournament win as we defeat the Sam Houston State Bearcats 74-59. to So let's go and see who we're playing in round two. We'll play this game, and then uh, I'll probably call it an episode. If we win, the next tournament will be, or the next episode will be the rest of the tournament. So let's look at Davidson. Um, 18 and 15, 7 and 9 in their conference. I don't know what conference they're in. We'll go back and look in a second. Again, better offensive team than us. Um, better shooting across the board. So, yeah, it'll be an interesting game as we take on Steph Curry's Davidson squad. They're in Conference G, where they went 18 and 15. All right, well, let's play game number two right away. No time to waste. Looks like Moorhead State versus Clemson is in the, the, other, uh, the other bracket, I guess, for this tournament. So let's, let's see if we can pull this one off. So Ike Carter, Scotty, same starting lineup. Carter, Rosen, Barkley, Petaway, and Howard. And for them, Colin Hunter and Devin Williams in the backcourt. Ricky Morrison, Mitch Wilcox, and Eric Crean is the front court for the Wildcats versus the Wildcats. It's the second time this happened this year. We played Kentucky earlier as this game is in Davidson. Let's get right to it. Two missed free throws. And a turnover right off the bat for the Cats. And Howard scores there to tie the game at two. Foul line jumper is no good. Missed jumper by Rosen. 2-2 two -two here early on. Barkley hits the baseline jumper. Three-pointer for Davidson gives him a one-point lead. Barkley misses that one. We get the rebound, come down the other way, and turn it over. We get it right back, and Ro uh, Rosen gets it to Lavin, who lays it up and in. Davidson hits that shot. Back and forth here early on. Barkley misses the jumper. Foul called on the Cats. Another foul called on the Cats. One out of two at the line for Rosen ties it at seven. Game's tied. We have the ball. Lavin with a chance for a three point play couldn't hit the free throw, but gives us a two point lead nonetheless. Nine nine is the score as we turn it over again. It's four turnovers now. Shot from the top of the key is no good, but we get the offensive rebound. Miss that one, get another offensive rebound, and then turn it over. Davidson is up by two. Another turnover. Davidson gets the ball back. Three-pointer by Alvin Pyluzic puts us up one. Lavin with the bucket in the paint. Three-pointer by Pyluzic again, and we're up six, 17-11. Three-pointer by Davidson as the shot clock is about to expire. Three-point game, 17-14. Missed baseline jumper, three-point UNH lead. Midway through the first half. And there's a turnover to get Davidson within a point. Missed shot, and the Davidson Wildcats with a chance to take the lead here as they miss both free throws. And then Carter comes back and drains a three to put us back up four. Two free throws by Davidson. Davidson. 
Shot in the paint is no good. Davidson with a chance to tie it, and they do. Lavin takes it right to the hoop for a pair. He's got eight. One out of two at the line. They turn it over, and Carter will take that one in for two, giving us a five-point lead. They get one out of two at the line. Missed a three-pointer. We get the offensive rebound. Baseline jumper by Scotty Rosen goes. 27-23 now with 440 left. Another turnover by UNH, giving us seven here. Two-point game. Three-pointer from the top of the key is no good by Petaway. And Davidson ties it. Two missed free throws by Howard. Barkley gets one at the line. Davidson hits a three to put him up two. Two free throws for Scotty Rosen. Two missed free throws by Davidson and a turnover by the Cats. Three-pointer by Davidson. They're now up three. Three-pointer by Barkley to tie it at 33. Missed jumper as we're down to the last minute of play. Burks hits that one. Two-point UNH lead. Davidson with the ball. 40 seconds left. They turn it over, and Burks gets it to Barkley, who scores. Davidson gets a sh gets the bucket with 12 seconds left. They now have an opportunity to tie it at the buzzer. They don't, and who hit that three? Uh, I don't know who hit the three, but we hit a three at the buzzer to go into halftime up five. So for Davidson... Hunter and Williams led the way with seven. Morrison with six. Crean with five. Wilcox with two. Rivers hit a three-pointer. Strong hit a three-pointer. And Hand with a bucket. They shot 51% from the field. Four of eight from behind the arc. Three of nine from the free throw line. For us, our bench actually led the way. But for starters, Llewellyn Barkley had eight. Carter with six. Uh, Scotty Rosen had five points, four rebounds. Howard had two. Petaway only played five minutes, committed three fouls in those five minutes, didn't score. Lavin and Piluzic kept us in this one. Lavin, eight points, four rebounds off the bench. Piluzic, eight points, three rebounds, hit a couple of three-pointers. Burks with three points. Roy and Angeli played but didn't score. We shot 53% from the field, five of eight from behind the arc. We're only five of 11 from the line. Rebounds, excuse me, were basically even. Turnover battle, basically even as well. We go into halftime, or we go into the second half, up by five. We get the ball to start the second half. Missed three-pointer. We get it right back, though. Lavin goes to the line, gets one out of two, putting us up six. Davidson hits the shot to bring him within four. There's a three-pointer by Barkley to put us up seven. Turnover and two free throws by Lavin, giving us a nine-point lead. Davidson misses the shot. Foul called. Three-pointer by Scotty Rosen from the top of the key gives us a 12-point lead. 49-37, our largest lead of the game. Missed three-pointer by Barkley. There's a missed shot. We get it back. Still up by 12. Rosen from the baseline. No good. Davidson misses that shot. Rosen misses another shot. There's a basket for Davidson, bringing him within 10. Missed three-pointer, but we get two out of three at the line to get us, within, uh, get us up to uh, 12, but then Davidson hits a three to make it a nine-point game. Rosen goes to the line, hits one out of two. It's a 10-point game. Davidson hits a three to get him within seven. Barkley comes back and hits a three to put us back up 10. We have the ball in a 10-point lead. Turnover by UNH. Turnover by them. We get a basket. We're up 12. 57 to 45, UNH. Trying to hold on. One out of two at the line for Petaway. We get the ball back, go right up, and we're up by 15 with the basketball. Rosen takes that one to the hoop. He's got 11, and we're up 17. Three-pointer by Piluzic. Bang! And it's a 20-point UNH lead. Davidson gets a basket to get within 18. Two at the line for Rosen to put us back up 20. 
Davidson cuts it back to 18. Just have to play smart here the rest of the way. Miss jumper. Basket for Davidson gets him within 16 with nine minutes left. There's a jumper from Barkley to put us back up 18. Missed shot. We get the ball back and turn it over. Two free throws, 16-point lead, a three-pointer by Piluzic again. He's got 14 in this one. It's a 19-point UNH lead. One out of two at the line, 18-point lead. There's a basket by Lavin, who's got 13 in this one, and we're up 20 with seven minutes remaining. 18-point UNH lead. Davidson turns it over, and Burks takes that one coast-to-coast. Coast. There's a jumper from them, and then we come right back, and Carter Roy hits a shot. We're, not, we're up 20 with five and a half left. Looks like we may be advancing here. 78-58, UNH with five minutes remaining. One out of two at the line for Lavin gives us a 19-point lead. Turnover. Foul called. Jumper and one for Scotty Rosen, giving him 16 in this one. It's a 22-point UNH lead. As we try to run out the clock here and move on to what I assume is the championship, there's a basket by Lavin. 16 points for Lavin in this game. 84-62. to 62. UNH running away with this one. Rosen misses the three-pointer. Davidson misses the shot there. Catch is trying to run the clock out as we're down to the final minute. 84-63. to 63. Eighty six sixty three as Rasan Howard hits that one. Garbage time for the Cats as they have their walk ons out there. Eighty six to sixty three is the final score. We turned a five point halftime lead into a twenty three point victory. Ouch scored them forty six to twenty eight in the second half for Davidson. They were led by Williams and Morrison. Each had eleven. Hunter with ten. Wilcox with eight, Crean with five, Willis had seven, Strong four, Rivers three, Hand and Barnes had two, Weir and Rowell both played and didn't score. They shot 46% from the field, 46% from behind the arc, and 46% from the free throw line. Uh, they turned the ball over 21 times, which was the difference in the game. We only had 11 turnovers and only one in the second half. For us, we had five players in double figures. Barkley and Rosen and Lavin each led the way with 16 uh, 16 points. Uh, Piluzic had 14 off the bench. He was a monster. Uh, Howard had four. Petaway only played 11 minutes with foul trouble. Uh, uh, Burks had seven. Roy had two. And Jilly, Parker, Hope, Broussard all played but didn't score. So we move on. Scotty Rosen, 16 points, five rebounds, three assists, was the player of the game. So are we going to be playing Clemson? Is that going to be the actual final? Let's look at recruiting. Do we have to do any quick recruiting? No, we don't. We're still okay there. I'm going to keep simming ahead till our next game and see what that is. I assume we have one more game. Can't imagine that the conference tournament would only be four teams. So we've won our first two postseason tournament games in uh, team history. So good for us. Yep, we're taking on Clemson. I wish I could look at the bracket for the um, for the tournament that we're in. Is there any way to look at that? Uh, we're here, right? So it's actually the CIT. Okay, and that's fine. Uh, 14 through the 20. Yeah, okay, so it's the 14th through the 29th, which means I don't think we're in the final round of the tournament. I think we're in the semifinal round. So I think what I'm going to do is call this one up. Call this one an episode. I've been going for, how long have I been going for? Yeah, about 40 minutes. So 
um, that's going to be that. Let's just quickly take a look at uh, the Clemson um, the Clemson report. We'll take a look at the scouting report. Yeah, they you know they've got it's Clemson. I mean it's an SEC team. Um, they don't they're really bad offensively. They shoot thirty eight percent as a team. Uh, so we got a shot if we can hang in there defensively with them. Um, they beat Kentucky, lost to Kansas, and beat Arizona State. So they beat two top 20 teams this season. Uh, they were 17 and 14 in Conference D, and they had a losing record. What did it say they were? 6 and 10 or something? Yeah, 6 and 10 in the conference, 17 and 14 overall, 18 and 12, 10 and 6. So we'll be playing them in what I think is the conference or in the, the tournament semifinals. Um, if you guys know of a way to allow me to look at the brackets for the tournament, because that would be really cool if if the game did that. I don't know if it does that, but it would be really cool if they did. So, um, yeah, let me know. Um, let me know your thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. As always, please leave a like, subscribe, leave me your comments. Let me know your thoughts. And until we talk again, everybody take care. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh,